Hi everybody, this is Fisher Coda here. Today we're going through lead code problem uh, 1280, students and examinations. Before we dive deeper into the problem, just do me a favor and smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to turn on the bell notification so that each time when I publish a new video, you'll get the notification instantly. All right, with that said, uh, let's take a look at this question. This is a MySQL problem which is the first time we're cover we are going to cover in this channel. I thought it's cool to learn some uh, SQL tutorials because you might not get asked. Uh, well, you might get asked um, sometimes during um, coding problems for sure. Um, and it's going to be very practical knowledge when you really um, start working, when you get a job offer and start working as a software engineer. Because MySQL and SQL are still very pretty dominant and popular um, database technologies. So I thought it'd be good to cover this. Uh, this is uh, marked as an easy question, but it will be good to learn a lot of SQL, typical, very typical, very typical SQL syntax and terminologies to uh, do very simple and basic um, SQL operations. So let's take a look at this question. We're given um, a bunch of tables. First table is students. It has two columns. One is student ID, the other is student name. Student ID is of integer type, um, student name is var char type. That's the first table. Uh, very straightforward and very descriptive column names as well. Second table is subjugates. It has two columns as well. Oh, it has only one column, sorry. It's just, there is just a subject name. It's a string, var char. Third, we have the final table, which, which is called examinations. It has two columns, student ID, student name, um, which let's take a look here. Yeah, student ID is an integer and student name is a varchar. Um, this is very common in, well, this is like a simplified uh, use case of real world um, scenarios, but uh, it's good enough to test your SQL knowledge and skills. Uh, we can take a look at uh, the, some sample data here. Student ID, a student's table has these IDs, for example, and student name is Alice Bob John Maddox. Subjects table, math, physics, programming. Examinations table, very straightforward as well. Student ID 1, which means this student with ID 1 has taken this subject, math, physics, programming, and math again, and math again. So student with ID 1 has taken math three times. So the result table, what the problem wants us to do is to um, do some transformation and operations on the given three simple tables and generate an aggregated view of, of the results uh, looking like this. So see, student ID with this name has taken this subject exam three times, as we just saw, right? And uh, Alice, uh, with stu Alice, is the student name with her ID one has taken physics exam twice, has taken programming test once. So you see it's ordered by student ID first and then student name, which is exactly what the problem is asking us to do. So order the result table by student ID and subject name. Um, the, there is actually no like algorithm um, in terms of SQL. There are multiple ways to write this, for sure, but all of the ways to, to produce such a result is basically very straightforward. It's just that you either do join um, on some conditions for different tables, right? Um, and then you group by or you order by um, some specific columns. So in this case, what we're going to do is, you see here, student ID is shared between students table and examinations table. So of course we're going to join these two tables by student ID. When student ID from students table is equal to students ID from examinations table, that means these two rows from these two columns should be joined. And for subjects table, we have um, this column is shared, the subject's name, this column is shared between subjects table and examinations table. So we're going to join these um, two tables by subject name. And then, um, in all, we're going to aggregate, uh, produce an aggregated view after combining all of the three tables. We need all three tables information in order to com 
uh, produce such a view, final view. Okay. So what are we going to get? We're going to get student ID. How do we get student ID? So we have student ID in these two tables, students table and examinations table. And then we have student name, student name in the first table as well. So we have subject, subject name. Now we need to map subject name to student um, to student ID. So which means we're going to join the first table, students table, with the third table, examinations table. So um, on what condition? On student ID equals, right? So that we can get the first three columns. And then the, the fourth column, which is the attended exam, how can we get that? So basically, we'll have to count we we need to count how many times uh, like say student ID has taken math say student ID with uh, student with ID one has taken math one time and uh, twice and third time right so we'll group by student ID based on the examinations table so that's the the idea so let's start writing the SQL query We'll look at uh, uh, this uh, result table to in order to write the SQL query. So we'll do select student ID. We'll get student ID from students table. Uh, let's call uh, from students. Well, as a so that we can simplify the problem. Select a student ID. Select a student ID. That's what we're going to get. Second column is from the result table that we're required to output is student name. So we're going to get student name also from the first table. So a student name, right? And then we're going to join. Uh, we're going to join with this. Uh, this table, examinations table, join examinations table as B on where uh, we are actually going, okay, on A, the third one is subject name, subject name, oh, actually we're going to use the subjects table first, subjects table, we'll call this one B, on A, uh, oh, actually, we still need one more. So left join, we're going to left join examinations. No, examinations table. We'll call this table C on on which condition? So it's going. The condition is going to be like a student ID. So a table is students table. Students table has student ID. We're going to have student ID equals to this one, examinations table, which is table C, also student ID. This is not good enough. We also need a uh, subject name, which is subjects table is, is B, right? So B subject name equals to examination table, subject name, right? So here, C subject name check these two conditions should be equal and then so let's take a look back at the result it's going to be subject name so we'll get where do we get subject name there is only here it's only here so we'll get subject name from b subject name you can also get it from c table which is examinations table either way is fine um, and then the final table is the fi final column the fourth column is attended exam copy this uh, how can we get a tenant exam which we just said it's basically a count of the subjects in the examinations table right so math appeared one two three three times for for student with ID one so we basically we're going to count so it's going to be count subject subject name um, as attendant exams right that's it uh, from students as from students table as a table from join subjects table as B table and then left join examinations table as C table um, and then we're going to group by so see here 
it's we are grouping by student ID and student name. That's that's one of the requirements as well. So order the result table by student ID, order by uh, so yeah, we'll call it student ID. The second one is uh, subject name. So subject name. That's it. So that it's the entire result uh, before we output is going to be grouped by student ID and student name. Yeah. All right. This is bas basically the query that we just wrote um, based on the input and the output and the problem uh, requirements that we wrote this query. We can take another look before we submit. Uh, see, select student ID from a table, which is this table, and student name also from this table, and then subject name from B table. And uh, we'll count, we'll take a count as a subject name. Okay, we need C, which is C, C table is this examinations table. Okay, and we missed an S here. Okay, from students table as A, join subjects table as B, and then left join examinations table as C. On um, these conditions, uh, these two conditions, student ID from A table must equal to the student ID from C table, right? Otherwise, there is we don't know how to join. <laughs> the SQL engine doesn't know how to join the these two tables. And then on another condition, which is uh, subject name from B table equals to C table. And then we group based on says um, order the result table by student ID and subject name. As we can see from the table, it's really ordered by student ID and student name. So we'll just group them by student ID first and then by sub subject name. Now let's hit submit and see the result. It's judging. All right, it's accepted. It's 100, 100. Oh, okay, that looks cool. Um, that basically concludes the tutorial for this um, lead code problem. Um, a very basic, um, but very handy and useful um, problem when it comes to real world. Um, so please don't forget to smash the like button down below and subscribe to our channel as we continue to publish uh, more and more um, tutorials to help uh, software engineers and uh, computer science majors um, to better prepare for software engineering coding interviews and to ace through coding interviews. That's it for this time. I'll see you guys in next tutorial.